Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another cube draft where we try to live the dream. Our dreams have been realized, I think, in a lot of these. The Cascade dream. The Genesis ultimatum into Cruel ultimatum dream. Lots of dreams have been dreamt. And, um, the, uh, oh, we had the, um, the Brash Taunter Blasphemous Act dream. Kurt, I'm pretty sure your dream ended pretty sweetly, right? Oh, the Atali one, we lived that dream and took a bunch of turns. Man, there was a lot of dreams that were dreamt. Oh, did it? Yeah, I thought so. Kurt doesn't even know. Kurt doesn't even drink, but I'm pretty sure he's still drunk most days. I'd really love for this to fire. Now I have the Seinfeld song stuck in my head forever. Okay. Oh, we did it. Our dream has come to life. Anybody cool? No, nobody cool. I love Nicobolus Planeswalker. Uh, Alrund is neat. I don't know how good it is, though. God, I feel like it's just Nicobolus Planeswalker. That's all I want to do. All I want to do is... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, maybe Blood Crypt comes back. I mean, first picking Nicol Bolas, being able to do that and not feel really bad about it is kind of like the exact thing. The, that's the exact kind of cube that I want to be playing. A cube that lets me take this card, first pick, and not look back. That's all I want. I'm like, oh, no, maybe I shouldn't have taken this. I mean, the only reason I'm reluctant to, to have taken this now is because we have two lands. Both of them are white, and that does not help. That does not help Nicholas. Oh man, Bullis and Dark Confidant in the same deck? You're a maniac. <sighs> See, just because we have this doesn't mean we're strictly Grixis. We could easily be four colors. Which means we could take Clip Top Retreat. We could take Elite Guard Mage because it keeps us alive and you know smooths things out a little bit. Yarok is fine, but I'd rather go white here. Siege Gang is fine. I'm gonna take Elite Guard Mage. So I actually would consider taking this, but this is double black, and this doesn't have any black in it. So we're already committing to double black, double blue, triple red, double white. And I don't think that's great. I might just want Godless Shrine here. Mythos is nice, but if we're not going to be able to pay the green, which I don't want to be able to. We can also take Cloud Blazer, which is also pretty sweet. I'm taking the Cloud Blazer. We're just going to be gaining life and drawing cards with these floaty boys. See, now we get paid off in this Scrubland, which is just a better version of Godless Shrine, right? And now, and now we're doing well. Golgari Rot Farm. It's the green one. I do like a Bit Blast. Ooh, I like a Bit Blast a lot. Do I like it better than a Clever Impersonator? I think so. Yeah, this I, I I like the way this looks already. Elspeth conquers death. I was literally just gonna say that like the reason I took bit blast over uh Shut up and take clever, my money. You must play all cards taken within the first five picks of each pack. That's actually pretty good. Curry usually gives me really, really really weird, tricky stipulations, and this one's actually pretty reasonable. I think Nahiri might be better than Elspeth just because of the double white. Plus we can hit this off Bituminous Blast. All I wanna do. 
want to go, oh, I like a Glacial Fortress. I like a Mana Confluence too, but I like a Glacial Fortress better. probably weird i don't want to take a million i i do I, I just want the glacial fortress okay my favorite my favorite mana bases consist of shock lands dual lands and check lands these are the check lands because two of them support the third and you don't have to like take a million points i think mana confluence is great don't get me wrong so plant form is actually pretty cool Triple black for this guy. I'll just take this a plan for him. I think we're going to be blue black base. Let's go. I got to write down. I got to make sure I got Kerwitz down. You must play all cards, take them in the first five packs, picks of each pack. I like it. Gotti. What about a mana base that contains City of Shadows? <laughs> no, get out of here. Just just leave. Go away. Oh, the Blood Crypts came back? Oh, God. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to do a little mana base finagle in here. Um... This is this is a rough pack because they're all green. <laughs> Except for concerted effort, and I don't want double white. I'll take the steel hellkite, I guess. I'll take Baron. I wish Baron had flash. I wonder if Kruger is any. Yeah, I'll take the Baron. Sure, what the hell. Anguish to unmaking, I think I like better than Narset here. Okay, we're gonna go white, blue black red oh rot farm uh, i don't even like rot farm it's the one color we're not that's unfortunate so white sources we right now have two blue we have one black we have two and red we have one i'm gonna keep track of our colored sources so i can try to prioritize what we may need yeah doomy boy hey eh, cavalry boy I'm not the only one. I mean, I think we take Ketri. I think we take Rogram Triome, and we wheel Cruel Ultimatum or like Prophetic Bolt. I think that's got to be the way. Okay, so now we have three, two, two. Nice. Rakdos Carnarium. I like that. Two green signets. Don't like that. Don't like it. I do kind of like Thief of Sanity here. I, I like Rakdos Carnarium a lot as well. I think I'm going to take the Thief of Sanity. It's. I mean, it's still we're still playing a cube, and this is like a, still a very powerful format. Oh, this anguish and making is metal AF, dude. What up, Nicholas? Or is off Basilica? I like that. Battle of Frost and Fire. Oh, Chromatic Lantern? Oh, Chromatic Lantern seems much better than Orzhov Basilica here. I'm going to take the Chromatic Lantern. Look at this wild Chromatic Lantern art. You better believe this thing is going to my cube. <laughs> I actually don't think I have a Chromatic Lantern in my cube. I just have... Oh, look, a third... A third green signet. Um, I like Eldest Reward here, but I think it's just taking... I'm just taking Tundra here. It gives us four white sources and three blue sources. They're really giving us the Esper lands here. It's 
Star of Extinction is interesting. It just kills everything. I think I kind of want Star of Extinction in the deck. That just seems cool. Oh, why you gotta be green, Omnath? That's the one color we're not. Um, your Battle Sphere is cool. Snapcaster could be good. We have Anguish on Making and Bituminous Blast. Not a great selection right now, but it's still pretty sweet. It's either that or Battle Sphere. I think we're just taking Snappy Boy. Dang, I got excited about the breeding pool, and then I'm like, we're not green. It's the like the one color we're not here. So no. Quarantine field is fine, but it's double white. Sower is double blue. Sower could be good, though. I'm gonna take sower. Like I said, we're we're definitely leaning into the double blue, double blue. We're, we're definitely leaning into blue black. And splashing everything else. I wish that was real. Buddy, I got news for you. Wow, I like there's a Drowned Catacomb here, but I like even better that there's a Delta that can get us Blood Crypt, Scrubland, and Tundra. So this adds a blue, a black, a white, and a red source. It adds every color right now. Oh, we did it. So five, four, three, three on our mana base right now. If I had to choose between Office and Seinfeld, which would I choose? Wow, that's actually really complicated. I would personally choose The Office. Because I feel like I connect to it more, and I've definitely watched The Office more than I have Seinfeld. That being said, I think what Seinfeld did for sitcoms is greater than what The Office did. This pack's actually really good. Uh, I'm going to take Jin just because it's a thing we can have. Whatever that means. Eh, Liliana is fine. But I like that better than Battle of Frost and Fire. Not really. This is just a sweeper. It hits Planeswalkers too. That's pretty wild. Um, this is a two drop and it's not great, but it is a card we can play in our deck. So maybe it's a God Pharaoh's gift. Man, if we can find some on-color signets in the next pack, that'd be pretty sweet. If you could eliminate the non-Steve Corral seasons, would you? No, not at all. I actually have no issues with the non-Steve Corral seasons. I think they're completely fine. I think, I think they're, they're, I think people exaggerate them being not great and i think it's insulting to the rest of the entire cast which is like everyone else makes that show shine like jim pam creed dwight like everyone on that show is great and i think just because you don't have steve carell i think it's insulting to the entire cast to be like these seasons aren't worth it i don't think that's true cold steel heart's interesting Plus, I also think The Office had one of the best series finales I've ever seen. I think their series finale is fantastic. I appreciate the Will Farrell one just for their cringe factor. This is basically just a scrubland for us, which we already have. So I'm not super excited on that. It might be Wooded Foothills because it gets blood. I don't even think that's great, to be honest with you. I guess it gets two. It gets Triome and Blood Crypt. That's got to be better than like Fabled Passage, sure. Okay, so that Wooded Foothills gets a red source, a black source, and a blue source, and a white source. Okay, so six, five, four, four. I think it's Watery Grave here. Six mana for this, huh? 
I do like taking extra turns. I like being able to go, you know, turn six to this guy, make two birds into cruel ultimatum. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Boros Garrison's also pretty sweet. I mean, we can get Watery Grave with Polluted Delta, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I want to make sure our mana's good, especially with both Cruel Tomatum and Nicol Bolas. So, six blue, five black. I don't know if we're playing this yet, because we do have Planeswalkers. Factor Fiction seems nice, though. If we can go Bit Blast into Factor Fiction, that's kind of cool. I do like D-Spark as well. I think Factor Fiction's probably going to be better for us. I do like Agent of Treachery. Oh, Fallen Shinobi? Oh, man. We have Thief of Sanity, Baron, Snapcaster, Piper. We don't have a ton of ways to, to sneak this dude in. I like Cosima. I think it's just Agent of Treachery. Oh, what up, Dragosi? Yeah, this is definitely a Dragon Skull summoning pack. We can take Midnight Clock. I think Midnight Clock would be fine. We also have to find like five more playables. I mean, we could definitely, we could definitely play like Jin or Cavalier, I guess. Oh, I guess we did have Guard Mage. Yeah, that's true. We could definitely bounce those. I mean, Shinobi might come back. I don't know. I kind of like Midnight Clock here. Just as another way to ramp. I don't think we need Dragon Skull Summit, but it might come back. Oh, wow, Demir Aqueduct. That's pretty sweet. Um, this seems better than Sacred Foundry here. Oh, wow, and we get an Underground Sea, too? Jeez. So blue went up to seven, black went up to six. Duplicant and Noxious Gearhulk, both pretty decent. This kills any creature, and it's a, it's always a 5-4 with Menace, and you gain life. This kills any creature. It gets exiled. Its power and toughness is variable. I think Gearhulk's better for us. love to take Genesis Ultimatum, but we're not green. I would love to take Woodland Cemetery, but we're not green. Ethereal Valkyrie is interesting. Draw a card, the next exile card from your hand, it becomes foretold. I mean, like, this is not terrible. It, it basically draws you a card when it comes into play. I don't know if we'll play it, but it's got to be the best pick there. Sweet Gum Recluse. Flash Cascade for six. When it enters the battlefield, put three one encounters on each of any number of target creatures that entered the battlefield this turn. Oh, that's pretty sweet. So you cascade into a creature. We're gonna take Cold Steel Heart. Uh, you cascade into another. You cascade into a creature. You, you that one resolves. They both get three counters. That's pretty cool. Um, let's take Seagate Oracle. Oh, V Spark came back, and that will be our twenty third card unless we find something else that's pretty sweet. I'm hoping Sacred Foundry and Underground Sea come back. <laughs> wow wow the lack of respect is fucking humbling dude oh none of these are exciting avenger sure 
Wow, Angel came back? That's pretty cool. So none of those lands came back, but our mana base is still looking pretty good. Currently, we have six white sources, seven blue sources. Also, this prevents us from having to do it at the end, I guess, as well. Let's double check. White sources, we have Glacial. That's one. Delta's two. Triumphs, three, four, five. And Foothills gets Triumphs. That's six. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because Foothills gets Triumph. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like seven, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. I lied. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Red, we have one, two, three, four. Yep. All right. So I was exactly correct. We do need one cut. Twelve creatures. I could see cutting Star of Extinction. We only have one Planeswalker, though. Maybe I shouldn't be too worried about. I guess I'm more... I'm more interested in the lack of ramp we have. Like, I don't want to have 7-drop, seven 7-drop, seven 7-drop, seven 8-drop here. And we have a, good, a lot of good removal for everything else. We also have Chromatic Lantern and Cold Steel Heart, so... A decent number of like ramp and fixing so let's take a gander <sighs> what we got here i mean cruel cruel ultimatum and fallen shinobi tabling is just amazing like i feel like people don't know what they're what the point of this cube is the point is to live your dream and if, you're, you. if you're like cruel ultimatum and fallen shinobi wheel like your dreams are boring so we only have five white sources i'm gonna add a basic I'm going to add one planes. So that's seven white sources. No double white. Juposhi, what up, what up, man? Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. We have 19 black so 19 blue sources, 15 thank black you. sources. Oh, David, thank you so much for the resub. 11 months. We're so close to a year. Are we going to make it? I hope so. I hope so. Okay, so 19 blue sources and 7. We have 15 black. Not sources, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Requirements? I don't know. So we got this. Um, we only have 5 red cards, but we do want to have enough red sources. 3. This puts us to 10 blue. I think nine blue is fine, and this is two, six, seven, eight. This is nine black. Three, four, five, six. And I think one more red puts us to six red. So we got six red, seven white, nine blue, nine black. We want triple black for this and double black for this and double black for this, so. This seems good. I'm a fan. Playing old Weehee. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's slow. They both kept seven, but okay, that's pretty good. Man, that really 
That really holds this hand together. Okay. Ranch soda stream when? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, something's happening. Urza's good. I like an Urza. Hmm. I always forget to screenshot my deck. Um, so Polluted Delta can get a bunch of things. Pretty much anything. Like, we can get Scrubland, we can get uh, Blood Crypt. Okay, we're definitely killing that somehow. Oh man, we're one mana shy of being able to kill that next turn. That's pretty unfortunate. Ugh, God. Well, they are going to get a Golos. Oh, we can actually just exile the Urza now. That's pretty sweet. Blue, white, red. I did not expect them to tap out tap Urza. That's pretty sweet, actually. Because then that leaves them with only five mana. Six if they play a land. How's February been? Is it still February? My god. Gotty. So next turn we can supplant form Golos. Supplant form. That's pretty good. I might just kill Golos actually. Crazy how it's about to be March, considering the last 11 months have been March. Yeah, I agree. It's wild. We don't actually need to crack this, to be honest. Like, we can actually just keep it, because we have Chromatic Lantern. So, there's no reason for us to take a point here. So, if we supplant form this, they just get to replay it, and then blink it again. So, they get two more lands out of it, but we get a Golos. Interesting. So now I'm pretty sure we're actually just going to kill it. Leave them with nothing. Because next turn we get to Agent of Treachery, their Thassa. Then we get to blink our Noxious Gearhulk. And that seems good. Uh, Yeah, I think I will use that ability. Like, I'd actually love to have a Golos, but I just feel like we're giving them too much time. And too many resources. Oh my god, we can steal. Oh my god. We have to be careful not to not to not to deck ourselves though. They do have 7 mana. They don't have black though. I mean, presuming that they blink you know, goal lost another time, they probably could have gotten a black pretty easily, so. Work, work. Decking yourself lives in a house very close to your dreams. It's, it's true. I think they're in the same neighborhood for sure. Oh, yeah, this is going to be. Oh, this is going to be bananas. So we're going to go Agent of Treachery, steal this. Blink Agent, steal this. Okay. What did they name? 
chooses land so they got a mountain sounds good work work i'm gonna go with eliza and peggy uh i'm not gonna attack here but i will blink this guy okay <laughs> oh that's the dream that's the dream right there he's like oh i see they're gonna blink that guy every turn Uh, it turns out we did not deck ourselves, guys. So, good times. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. I mean, Midnight Clock lets us cast both of these. Wait, what happened? Huh. You know... Isn't there a Mirrodin's core card that actually has a charge counter on it? Isn't that a thing? Or am I just thinking of Tendo Ice Bridge? I think I'm just thinking of Tendo Ice Bridge. Weird. I didn't think you had to put a counter on Mirrodin's core. I thought it just came with one. Oh, you got your little bird out. Cold Steel Heart. I think that's all the swamps we have in the deck. Okay, well, this guy's going to get bounced, but I guess they get to just replay it. That's pretty cool. Work, work. I'm going to go... Eliza and Peggy. I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. So next turn we can actually play Elite Guard Mage, which is kind of cool. Um, this is a really weird deck. Protege, okay. Did they put one on the bottom? One card on the bottom and one card on the top. They might have put rod on the bottom. Well, now I think I'm just desparking here. Oh, that's not that's not how that works. Bam. So now they're just gonna play bird, maybe. Dun, 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 dun. Nissa, sure. I don't care about this Nissa. Return up to one target other creature or planeswalker. Nice. I can bounce that. I can bounce that lady. Who's that lady? Bounce that lady. You know. Oh, that's a big boy. What does Sakashima's protege do? Let's look it up. I actually don't know what that card even does. Uh, Flash, it's a 3-1 and has Cascade. You may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of any permanent that entered the battlefield this turn. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to play Dooms Doomsayer. Dooms Doom Whisperer. Doom Speaker. 
So we know they have Alrund and Protege in hand. Uh, yeah, I think that's true. <laughs> wow. Such value. So we got our three black and two blue. Now all we need is the red. For anybody who wonders, there are three protege cards. Impetuous protege, Sakashima's protege, and Teferi's protege. So those are your those are your proteges. Interesting. We're going to surveil one. We want to hit some lands here. Oh. <laughs> Graveyard top. <laughs> okay well we need lands here i, I mean I, I put the the planes on the bottom because it just doesn't help us cast this and we actually don't need a second white source for anything so things happening here it's really hard to keep up this feels more like mm, boy this feels more like commander okay does it tell me what happened here it looks like a lot of lands came into play three lands a tatiova okay so that's four out of five They have drawn 10 more cards than we have this game. Harrowing. This is... Boy, they're really going through their deck here. They have 11 cards? <laughs> Alright. You got a little Birdman. Sounds good. Island is good.
Let's get a Richie boy. All right. Well, I feel like this is going to die, but that's okay. What is this? Five five with trample, flying in haste. Okay, so we can block the five five. We take five. I think we're actually dead here. I guess it depends on what they do. No, we go to two, actually. They have seven cards in their library. <laughs> Just this guy, huh? Easy block. The easiest of blocks. Now they have six cards in their library. Also, Gear Hulk next turn kills pretty much anything they have. Good lord, what's I don't I, like I don't know what the last six cards in their library and the last seven cards in their hand are. Three, four, five, six, seven. They only have eight mana. Does it have any counters on it? How many counters does it have on it? <laughs> I don't even know. Metamorph copying. Actually, I have no idea what's what's even worth copying here. I'm just I'm sure. I'm gonna kill one of those. Get a nine. I want to be in the rebuilding bids. Yep, that's good too. Good lord, this is so many things, man. We're also playing without a single red source. Um, so we kill one of these guys. And they actually have enough... I don't actually know what we can get with Vivian. I mean, I kind of want to kill the Whirler Rogue. I think there's just way too many things happening right now. Like, they can just make everything unblockable, so the World Rogue has to go. But then they also have, like, two creatures with this. I'd really love to gain 12. But then we easily take 12 here. We can get Cloud Blazer, possibly. Snapcaster. But we're one mana shy of de-sparking. Unfortunately. Supplant form, does that do anything? I mean, we, I think we just have to cast your next creature spell this turn. Sure. Oh, I guess we're choosing. We get to choose. It's not friggin'... I thought it was like Cascade for some reason. Oh, Sower of Temptation seems real good. I don't think they have an answer for it either. Hmm. Who do we take though? Urza? We could take World of Rogue. But, like, if they have an answer for Sower, they just get it back. It's not ideal. Hmm. It's actually kind of tricky. <laughs> I 
I don't know what they could have to get it back. I really, really don't. Like, they have eight cards left. This could be a mistake, but we haven't seen the thing. So it's like, I think getting 12 life off of, a, off of like a, being able to kill this construct or something is pretty good. They have four cards in hand. Can't do this. All right. Are they going to activate Urza here? That's pretty wild. Phasing out Sower doesn't give them their creature back. Yep, that's that's gonna do it. Wait, what? Oh, it looked like they were targeting the Yeah, okay, sure. Yep, that's pretty good. Man, this is so funny because midnight clock literally triggers next turn. <laughs> Could make us a whole new hand that we could probably do more with, but. Yep. They have two cards in their library. That's pretty hilarious. Can I survive this turn if they don't make their shit indestructible? Or unblockable? Wait, what? Really? Block there. Block your land. Oh, the lands fly, I guess. I can't believe they gave hold on, this is are we just are we just doing fine here now? So five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20, 23. We go to 6. Don't have trample. You don't have trample. You don't have trample. What? Oh, what up, John? John, what are you working on, by the way? So this triggers next turn? And they have two cards in their library? I don't know how they... They have seven clues. They could have made all their creatures unblockable. Whenever a vehicle deals... Sure. I'm working on Title Redacted. It's great. Oh, that sounds really good, man. I can't wait to play it, dude. Yes, Croc Clock is only me, obviously. That's why uh, That's why I'm like glad they have two cards, because we were able to find a way to... Oh, I'm well aware that Clock is only me. Yeah, you got it, Birdman. I want to find a way to make them draw two cards. I mean, there's no incentive, not, there's no reason not to just add a mana here, right? This is interesting. No, the clock wouldn't kill them. It would also shuffle their graveyard in, so that doesn't work. How do you want to know? Do you have anything that like, just makes them draw two cards? Draw one card? No, it has to draw two cards, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mana. I don't think we can factor fiction here. We didn't draw for the turn. <laughs> Seeing an oracle can find it. I'm not sure that's true. 
Man, I wish I took a screen capture of this deck. I feel really dumb now. Um... I'm just going to let this go. Top card, come on. Oh, we knew what the top card was. That's that's funny. Wow, we're one... Oh, no, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are two lands away. Okie dokie. Well. Let's Wooded Foothills. And try to find something. Let's see what we got here. What can we hit? Piper, we can hit an Agent of Treachery somehow, right? Thief of Sanity, Cloud Blazer. None of these cards to do anything. We're definitely getting Mountain here. So if we if we fall in Shinobi, what we can hit a four mana creature, which is like none. Does Baron bouncing anything do anything? I don't think so, man. This is brutal. God, they pretty much gave it to us and we still can't like close it out here. <sighs> like supplant form doesn't do anything, right? Bounces this makes a copy. Choose a card type with all cards to choose a type. No. Golos is cool. We can get our Noxious Gear Hulk. One, two, three, four, five. Can they recast it? Mm, I don't know. Bounce this make a copy of it. Bounce Urza make a copy of it. I don't think any of these matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we're, I think this is game. I mean, I, I feel bad, but the killing the big guy. We're at five. That's not going to do anything. Because then they just get their noxious gear Hulk. They get their they get their first metamorph back. Like we just can't make them draw two cards here. I'm going to concede. Let's bring in Star of Extinction. Cut one island for another mountain, just so we have it. Actually, I kind of like Battle of Frost and Fire a little better. I feel like that kills most of their things. Maybe both. Take out Supplant Form. Take out Sower. We'll bring in Battle. I'll keep this hand. If any two drop or three drop creature that we can do the deed into. I feel like this is a, a Rogrin Triome. Search out if I, ever, if I ever saw one. Yield until next end step. Let me get that cold steel heart. You didn't give me the cold steel heart. It's not very nice of you. Oh yeah, no, we gain life. We gain uh, like fourteen life if we killed their their construct, but I I just still don't think that that's good enough. Um, 
We can play this and it gets two extra counters than it would otherwise. Yeah, we're just gonna play Midnight Clock. Like, the only thing we can't cast next turn is Doom Whisperer, but I, I, I'm fine with that. Like, we can play Bituminous Blast and play our Chromatic Lantern. Seems good. Uh, let's go blue, white, and black. You clearly need that, so. I wonder what this is going to be. It's your boy. Give me a land here. Well, red, black, Nahiri. I'm just going to leave that in the deck. So this is what, turn six? We've missed three land drops? Okie dokie. Seems good. Not for us, mind you, but, you know, for them. <laughs> That's actually really good. It's like a, it's a three for one in cards, even though it only cost them the Vivian. It's still got like a lot of damage off the board. We get to scry three next turn. So ideally we hit land. Hmm. Land? Thank you. So we're definitely putting another land on top. So it goes to 11 on their turn, 12 on our turn, right? So we're not actually going to be able to draw whatever we put here. So I guess it doesn't really matter, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. Whatever we, whatever we have now is going to go away, so... Well, if only we missed one fewer land drops. They have two cards in hand. They're going to draw something with Bonder's Ornament. I feel like it's got to be one of these two. I mean, Protégé costs six, so it can't copy either one if we play it now. They could play Phyrexian Metamorph. All right. I mean, the thing is, if they... If they deal with our clock, like, our hand is good, so it's not actually not the worst. Five mana, huh? Sure. Okay, I feel like this is actually going to be pretty strong. <laughs> yeah like that 
Uh, and you cast a draw two cards. Sure. Um, what does this do? Look at the top three cards of the library, put one of those in your hand. If the spell is cast from anywhere other than your hand. Hmm. Okay, well, we're discarding like four cards here. I guess we could have cast that first and then decided whether we wanted to play this. That would have been better. Yeah. Not ideal. I mean, I would have much rather have something that affects the board here, but... I could also just drop Snapcaster as a guy. Which is probably going to be better. I, I think that's actually just better than having to, like, discard an extra card. So. Uh, discard this, this, and probably the Fortress here. Because it's still seven lands. One of them is a Chromatic Lantern. Sure. I'm assuming they're going to cast a creature spell, try to make a million copies with Mirror March. Draw a card from the bestiary. They got one. One copy. It's pretty good. Things are happening. Crack the clue. You got it. Is the guy going to attack? Oh, boy. Oh, I like being able to exile Mirror March here. That's pretty cool. So, they get to draw a million clues and then maybe kill us with Mirror March. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the. Oh, actually, we can anguish to unmaking the tireless tracker. And then Nahiri the Mirror March. That seems good, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have the mana for that. So, one, three, kill this idiot. Because whether we hit a land off of their, off of the Shinobi. cast this first if we hit lands we can um okay so we're gonna be able to play a second land let's definitely play this bounce this play this for free nahiri one two three four like we're just trying to dodge nissa basically because nissa just kills us which is pretty sad. Um, let's just get a scrub land, I guess. Oh, Kroll's made on top. That's nice to see. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have nine, so they can do a Nissa for seven. Negative six it kill us. Yep, that's gonna be what's gonna happen. That's not it. So I think we've actually got this game now. 
I'm pretty sure we Golos during upkeep as well, just to hit Cruel Ultimatum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, like, we're paying seven either way, right? So I might as well get the Cruel Ultimatum out of it. It also pitches their entire hand. Something else is happening. Metamorph. Sure. Okie dokie. Um, upkeep, what do we got here? One, two, three, four. What do we need? Green? Let's get Cruel Ultimatum, Agent of Treachery, and Baron. Well, that's how we do it, folks. <laughs> I mean, Cruel puts them to two. And they have three creatures. We have four creatures. End of story. All right. That was the dream. Wow, that match took a long time. Did you ever play any of the dual decks? Um, I don't think I know what that means. Oh, the Live the Dream Cube is one of my favorites. Absolutely one of my favorites. And you want to know. Uh, definitely keep this hand. This is pretty sweet. Third turn clock. Oh, Blood Crypt turn two. Sure, don't mind if I do. Can't play this guy. Double black is not what we have, but that's okay. Oh, they didn't do anything. Oh, we do have double black. I lied to you all. Oh, I guess I need blue, huh? Fascinating. I guess we'll cast Doomy Boy here. It's just a better use of mana, and I feel like, as far as threats go, a 6 6 flyer and a Thief of Sanity are both. They're kind of similar. Our opponent has also not done anything. I'll surveil. Um, I will pitch this mountain. I'll keep a D Spark on top. I do not know what's going on here. Destroy all the non-giant boys. Okie dokie. So right now we have blue, blue. 
I think we got to keep the black, actually. Graveyard that. Put you on top. Okay. Oh, I should have. Oh, damn it. I should have. I should have clocked. Taking this mountain is actually pretty decent. Um, because it actually lets us have black, 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 and then red, red. And then blue, blue. So we actually have Cruel Ultimatum mana now. Plus, if this guy dies, we can get it back with Cruel Ultimatum. So that's, that's also kind of cool. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you did there. But I'm going to cruel your face. One, two, three, four. So they got a one card here. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess they do get a hit from Elspeth Conqueror's Death now, but we can also despark it next turn, so that's pretty cool. I guess we can despark it this turn, right? We didn't play a land. Surely. Let's get an old scrubberino. Black and white. We can actually play both of these next turn. <laughs> Draw three. Gain five. Bone Crusher to the face. Okay. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We also have nine. If we draw one land, we can play both Fallen Shanoopy and Doomy. I mean, that's probably better. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Actually, maybe it's not. Maybe. So I don't care about these because we're just going to draw seven next turn anyway. So. But, like, if we don't play it. The life might be relevant, right? So the thing is, like, if we draw seven next turn, we can actually just draw a Fallen Shinobi. Which seems better. So, like, having this guy just seems better. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Well, I'll be. Interesting. So they're either going to wipe the board. I want to block. If they wipe the board, I'm saving four. Or they want me to block and they're going to shoot the Doom Whisper. Either way, I want the Doom Whisper in play. Yep. Okay. So they would have shot this guy for, for four. Or for two, rather. Okay, so we just get to kill Chandra? Huh. That seems strange. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this is our upkeep. We could actually look for a Fallen Shinobi. I think we're just going to kill the Chandra, though. And we could also go D-Spark here. Nah. I'm going to give it one good look. I'm going to graveyard this. Six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. This is five. We can despark. Yeah, this is fine. Attack Chandra. So we can actually play just Seagate Oracle Bit Blast this guy.
One, two, three. Oh, we can also play Chromatic Lantern too. That's pretty cool. <sighs> wow. There it is. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. I think we're just not even close to losing this, I guess. Oh, the terror of the peaks. Let's kill the terror and see what happens there. Pay an additional three life. Yeah, that's fine. One blue, one, two, three. <laughs> Cast. Okay. <laughs> Steal this guy. Sounds good. Okie dokie. Well, that'll do. I don't really feel like Thank boarding you. anything in here. Undrep tuna? Oh my god. It's been so long. So long. I don't like it. I think we're just submitting like this. I don't really feel like we have any super bad cards in our bill dick. 34 month streak. Where's the time go? Oh, uh, let's keep this. We'll get a Rogren Triumph. We'll have red, white, blue, black. The Rogren Triumph also lets us play Baron. Any land lets us play Elite Guard Mage, and then any land lets us play Bit Blast. It's like, it's just too good. That's a good one. Now we have double blue, double black. The busy Thank never you. stops, buddy. You don't even, you don't even know. No, you do. Cyborg Yui with the resub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys. You're all wonderful. These are a few of my favorite people. What's it going to be? Two drop? Thief. It's kind of like a two drop. So we can go Baron. What is this creature? Planeswalker, right? Actually, Thief of Sandy might be better than Baron here. When they don't have anything to... To Baron. Oh, where were you last turn? Come on. Let's go one, two, three. It's your boy. Stealing your dreams. Actually, I guess it's a, a, a sanity stealer, not a dream stealer. He doesn't know anything about things. They're going to counter this? What's happening right now? Thank you! Homeschool Joey, welcome back. Half a year, buddy. We're getting through it. Oh, dang, that's rude. That is rude. I mean, I'm just going to play Elite Guard Mage here. We want to hit lands. If we hit a land, we can also go Baron and Cold Steel Heart next turn. Guys, we hit a land. Can you? We have such good plays now. Next turn, we can play literally Bit Blast, Doom Whisper, or both of these. I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay. You got it. Okay. Wild. What if I just steal the mannequin? The millikin. It's not a mannequin, it's a millikin. I think I want to take them off some of their mana. Mannequin. So if they have Realm Cloak Giant, though, they can just still play it one, two, three. Well, they got to hit a land, I guess. So we got Shut red, up and red. take my money. Tuna is tuna. I can't find biddies, so let's use our imagination. 
Is that the tuna's tuna? Oh my god. Undrum tuna, you're wonderful. I believe that's the tuna's tuna. Only you would say biddies, and there's no way there's no way anyone would fake that. Let's bounce the Milliken. And we'll play Cold Steel Heart making a red. Half an imagination buck. Oh my god. Let's make a blue, actually. We need more blue than red. Do you stream labs or stream elements? Uh I didn't know stream elements was actually uh well for what do you, I don't know I don't know what, what are you asking me right now, Dragosi? I use stream labs for all my donation stuff. Oh no. Oh no. I should have played Doom Whisper. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven total mana. Which leaves us with to be able to do one thing. Uh, I just use regular OBS. I think every other OBS is kind of trash. <sighs> so. Attack this Shandy. I feel like we just got to put Doomy on the board. Two damage to my face. Thank Gone. you. Got it. Roar. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Faith's, Faith's, Faith's fetters. Michael would call it Faith's fetters. And I'm like, Michael, no. Okay, we're going to do one of these jobbies. Okay. Okay. I think I want both of these put on the top. Put on the top. Do -do 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 top. Oh, we also get to bounce Elite Guard Mage. That's kind of cool. <sighs> well. I do use, I use Mike A, Mike B, Mike C. But I do use Nike as well, so. I'm going to go to their face. Because I'd rather trigger my Fallen Shinobi. So one, two, three, four. Bounce this guy. Get poppin'. Hammer of Perforos. Uh huh. Well, one, two, three, four. Man, my creature have haste. Whew, that's pretty good. Did you see the preview for the new floral Nikes? I don't I don't know. There's some there's some Jordan 1 zooms dropping tomorrow that I'm I'm interested in. Undrum tune, I appreciate you. Okay. So long, fallen Shinoopy. Well, this is nice because we can't actually kill the Nahiri. <laughs> they discarded wow council's judgment for three islands that is less than ideal my friend I'm about to spend a crap ton of money on them well that's how shoes work. They get you. Oh, okay. So we can kill this. Attack this. Kill this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Okie dokie. So we're desparking this. We're just attacking you. They have no cards. Oh, boy.
Oh, we could have, yeah, we could have gear hulked this. Gotten a 3-3. Three, three, killed this with the gear hulk. I think I just wanted to save the gear. Like, we've seen, like, the, so the thing is, they've, we've seen, um, Realm Cloak Giant. So I don't want to just overcommit to the board and put a bunch of creatures on here. Um, so I'm just going to kill this. They have no cards in hand as well, so I'm not like. Oh, I also could have desparked the Faith's Fetters and attacked with that. See, that would have been better. Yeah. I think I'm mostly, I mean, the reason why not is because I I'm just got a lot of things going on here. Forgive me because it's on TikTok. Oh, yeah, those are cute. Pretty sure those are blazers, and I like blazers. All right. They did not come at me, bro. Something's happening. What are they top deck? Terror? Of Lapeaks? Is this spell or spell and ability? Target spells your opponents. Spells cost one more. So yeah, I'm just going to gear hulk that guy. Or agent of treachery it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to take this guy and shove it in your face. Got the GGs. All right, so we're 2-0. Can we get the three? Can we get the three? We'll see. We could, but did anyone ask if we should? You mean get the 3 I think it's the age-old question. Boy, this is taking a while. Okay. Let's do it. <sighs> I don't love this hand. I do love this hand. Um, let's put Sower back. Also, we're on the draw, but we get to Demir Aqueduct still, which is pretty sweet. Hunter's doing big dream. What a spirit. That's the spirit. So I'm pretty sure we have clock next turn. One, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, they're really killing it here. <sighs> Flicker Wisp. Oh, we're definitely bringing our sweepers in. Ooh, Scrubland's nice. So we have one, two, three, four. Next time we'll have five mana, we can go Seagate Oracle and keep up D-Spark. But I'm pretty sure they're just going to Flicker Wisp the Recruiter and get another guy. And there's a Flicker Wisp. Uh, 
There's a recruiter. They could also flicker us to Mere Aqueduct, which would have put us back a land. Sure, Walking Ballista. Not super impressive. I'm just going to bank Selfless Spirit. I don't want them to Flicker Wisp again. So if they want to actually like play Walking Ballista to kill Baron, that's totally fine. Because next turn we have Noxious Gear Hulk. Uh, it's equal to Toughness, unfortunately. So we're only going to gain one. But we still get rid of their other flyer. That's kind of cool. They also have six cards in hand, so maybe they just play a big fat four drop and we can despark it and pass the turn. And... Yep, that was pretty good. This also exiles it, so... They don't get to bring it back. I mean, we gain one, but we take three power and flying off the board, so that's pretty cool. I'm having a bad day. Mike, I'm sorry, buddy. Are you doing all right? No, I just said I'm having a bad day. Mike, can you message me your address? Hmm. Well, we're definitely anguished on making that. Maybe not today. We lost to Hearthstone QA dude over the weekend. Oh my god, dude, I'm so sorry. Wow, that sucks. Really sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, that's a bummer. I don't think we're likely to cast this, especially with a white source. We have one, two, three, four, five. We need two more mana. And I just think we just factor fiction here. God, being younger than you, it's super surreal, right? Like, it feels really weird. Like, how did you dodge this bullet, you know? They have four mana and they're not doing anything, so. Sure. Uh, Mike's back is doing much better. Uh, yeah, you can go blocks here. So I just got to wipe your board? Huh. 
Okay, so we're trading this for nothing. That's fine. Oh, he just had like a bad sciatic nerve or some bullshit. <laughs> He's fine, though. I'm gonna main phase this because I want to be able to hit a land. Actually, I think we played land. We played an island, so you know. Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I kind of like this pile better, to be honest. Under Tuna, how frequently you have to get shots there? I've never even heard of that. The lands are nice. I'm just going to take pile, pile one. Man, you guys in your snow. It's a it's a crisp forty degrees here today in in Denver. Do you think they're gonna marshal coup here? Do you think they're gonna attack and then marshal coup? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now less so. Okay, well, I can't sit around and wait for this anymore, so I have to actually get rid of this. It doesn't do anything, but it very well could. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Land. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, so we can go, like... Four... Five, six, seven, eight... The problem is that I want to die to, like, Walking Ballista for three plus Resto. So as much as I love Fallen Shinobi, I guess if we're bouncing Baron, we can also bounce the Resto, huh? Yeah, that seems fine, I guess. Oh, wow, sweet trade. I guess they knew we had that, so. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, gain two draw card? God, we're living the dream. Uh, we need a second red for Cruel. And I'll just play Piper here. And next turn we get to draw a million cards. Okay. That worked out well. Haha. <laughs> Uh, you know what? It's still fine. Oh, uh, the phrase non-land is not the change. No. Cascade is always lands. You think they got an answer in their two cards? Oh, they pump this guy and then they, they shoot this guy. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 
No, the changes at the card you cast has to be lower mana cost. Wow, this is wild. They're doing so well for themselves. You got it. One, two, three, midnight clocky boy. Um, so we can make a rat and then put a counter on this. So what do we got? Do we only have two black? I'm going to actually make this black. Because if we draw a cruel ultimatum, I don't want to be, I don't want to be caught with my, my pants down here. Not today, lad. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says. That's a good one. I'm a fan. Yep, so you can deal me f seven here. Yeah, that was a good draw. I mean, we do get to fall in Shinobi here. Cruel Ultimatum. Nahiri. So an artifact, a creature, or a thing. Attack, no, no one, attack, uh, attack, yeah, let's attack both at Elspeth here. Look at that, I just get to eat this guy for free. No? Alright, so we're going to go one, two, three. Yeah, I'll play this guy. One, two, three, four. So we get to go to six or we go to two. If they draw land, they can put two counters on this, making this a four, four. I still think it's probably better to two, three, four. I think it's still probably better to get the cast out. I mean, an extra two life and an extra card here is pretty nice. Oh, it's actually three life. That's even better, actually. How many times can I say actually? Well, actually. Yep, that's actually that's actually fine. Actually, snap into bit blast seems pretty bananas. And we also get to make another rat. Trial plus yes, pitch trial, thief of sanity. So we can get supplant form as well. We can get D spark. I think bit blast is probably the best we can get though, or the best we can do. That's it, huh? Okay.
One, two, three, four, five. And then we still have three. Let's go be a blast here. Blast. The kitty cat. One, two, three. And then one, two. Okay, chromatic lantern, sure. Uh, we can play Thief of Sanity here. I think we just want to make a rat so we can gain control of something. with Terrell. Gain life for each creature you control or make three 1-1 one, one dirtles. Three 1-1 one, one dirtles it is. This draft has taken a good amount of time. Uh, black and black and rats all day. Do do do. Cruel ultimatums on its way. Sour of Temptation. Similar, but different. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Blue, blue. Red, red. Let's go blue. Oh, I guess we have Chromatic Lantern. It really does not matter. At all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, okay. There it is. There's the cruelly boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well. We're going to go black. 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 Doesn't matter. One, two, three. Can I have this? You're just going to shoot my face? Okay. Okie dokie. Attack Elspeth. Alright, so now we're going to play Thief. The answer is no. Play Thief here. Uh, one, two, three. Take two, presumably, if they attack with everything. Take three, if they attack with everything. Oh boy, did they just top deck the, f the bomb? Okay, maybe not. Two. Okay. We would have drawn th two lands and an agent of treachery. We would have gotten back like noxious. One, two, three, four, not been able to do anything. Okay. Either way, we won the game. So, bringing in Battle of Frost, cutting. Probably Fallen Shinobi. It doesn't seem super exciting here. So Plant Form also doesn't seem that exciting. We can bring in Star of Extinction. Every day. Um, Great Breaker Lamia is not terrible. Like, just because it gains life. Like, that's literally all it comes down to. Um, Strange Island Permit for X, whose controller was still... Yeah, we're actually... Actually, I'm going to bring Steel Hellkite in, because uh, it survives battle, and it also kills all their tokens. Oh, D-Spark is great. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even considering... I wouldn't even imagine cutting that. 
Everything else seems good. Even Piper did some work in that matchup. Let me cut Doom Whisper. I'm not super excited about Doom Whisper. Yeah, I'll keep the same. See, again, we're on the play, we're on the draw, so we can't actually play Aqueduct without a turn. I guess we can play Midnight Clock on three, and then follow it up with Baron plus Aqueduct. Is D Spark worth it? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, that was what you were responding to. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, they haven't played anything by turn four. You got it. Oh, Elite Guard Mage for sure. We can't play it yet, but that's okay. Yeah, cycle that cast out. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Solar. Steal a nerd. Play land. Attack your Elspeth. So the question is, do they just make three more guys? Or do they gain one? Do they play a thing? Do they play Divine Visitation and then uh, make three guys? That would be good. And no, the answer is no. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana, no white sources, which is really grinding my gears here. Oh boy, things are happening. So really, I think we're just bouncing this guy. One, two, three, Baron. And then we're just replaying it to draw the card. That's gotta be better than, like we draw, we draw two cards here because a and I think that's got to be better than just bouncing a 1-1 one, one because we're really looking for the second red. Um, yeah, that's fine. And there it is. There it is. So next time we can Starve Extinction, kill one of their lands. You got it. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Charlotte Reverend for lands and tokens. So you would get to keep two one ones. And I would get my midnight clock back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's interesting. Or do I just create some one ones? Yeah, that seems fine. 
So we just traded Flicker Wisp, Oblivion Ring, Recruiter, and Elspeth for an Agent of Treachery, a Seagate Oracle, and a Baron, which all did something. And next turn we get to play Nicol Bolas. So if they play like Divine Visitation here, we do have an answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually get Rawgrim Trium, which gives us a second red, and Nickel Pickle. Oh, they're going to unexpectedly absent? No. Okay. I'm probably just going to leave it. <laughs> sure. Well, we could also find a red, kill a land, and destroy their board. That's definitely an option here. We don't have a red, white. One, two, three. We could play, we could actually we play this as a white, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have 10 mana. So we can actually go star into thief. It's not terrible. All right. Yeah, we're losing Nicol Bolas here, but. Um, so what do we got? We're going to do, we're going to just keep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God, they're tapping it again. Sure. Uh, one, two, three. You got it. Well, Thief's going to connect here for sure. Yeah, I'll take two. Let's see if Nicol Bolas actually got shuffled away. He did. Oh, that was a good draw, though. Oh, Divine Visitation. Do we have anything that takes advantage of that? No, we're just going to take Sarah, because, like, Divine Visitation in the graveyard is just fine. Um, Let's go White Source. One, two, three, four. Elite Guard Maggio. Draw. Play this. One, two, three, four. Let's make a four, four angel. Let's play Cold Steel Heart. We'll say white, I guess. Actually, let's say red. Because we have another Glacial Fortress in hand. Yeah, Thief Sandy is a cool magic card. I will block both of these creatures. You can make them seven sevens? Yeah. That's pretty good. And this is this is actually pretty this is pretty good. Mirror entities no joke, so we do kind of have to hit something. That's not it. Yeah, 
This is eight. <laughs> okay. Well, we really got to hit something here or else we're dead to... Actually, I guess we could we could chump block, right? Huh. Yeah, I guess we could chump block. But I think our odds of hitting something that we can cast is pretty high. So, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. hope it's not three lands. Selfless spirit. That's not a land at all. It's until end of turn, right? Yeah, okay, so that doesn't really matter. Okay, white, sure. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We use 3 if it go down to 8, and we have 9, so we can add 3 counters, and that will trigger Midnight Clock. So we just have to block one of these guys. They just don't have to have a removal for our selfless spirit. That's literally what it comes down to. And it doesn't matter if we attacked or not because we would have triggered it anyway. Like we would have had if one one removal spell works on either one of these guys. So, hmm, boy. That is fine, McMine. I get to draw two here, huh? <sighs> Sounds good. I would have definitely attacked first because they could have got me to chump block. They could have pumped for three. I guess they can still do that, right? So I can just block here. Oh, they get all creature types, don't they? Yeah, that's fine. So they become three threes. Yeah, I'd still rather do that than take six. So. Um, let's go one, two, two, three. Clock it up. One, two, three. Clock it up. Draw seven cards. It doesn't, I don't think it matters. Like I think I'd rather just have it go off on our turn and add the mana. Because if we get like Bit Blast or something, I'll just cast that dude. Hmm. None of these are instants, so I guess we're just going to the next phase. This is fine. We can hear you this. Oh my god, can we do both? Steal their cat and hear you this. Oh boy, that's pretty good. It's got it. We have to have enough mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. Eat that dude. People underestimate. People sleep on nickel, uh, uh, midnight clock constantly. 2, 1, 2, 3. Steal your kitty cat. Um, make an angel. Did I play a land? So I got two mana left. Might as well just play a piper. Nice. That's very good. Yeah, this game's over. Marshall Koo first. Yep, that's the ticket. That is the ticket. Okay. And we have Cruel to go up to like 16 life. They have five tokens. Hmm. Yes. Wooded Foothills. Okay. Uh, destroy non-creature permanent. We'll get a land. Boy. Um, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, Thief is actually just better here, I think. 
There's the bit blast. Oh, I guess we could just play this. <laughs> I mean... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana still. So I guess we just cloud blaze it. We have a lot of cards left in our library, so I'm not super afraid of that. Okay. <laughs> got, got him with the trophy. Seems good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com if you guys want to support the channel. You can also go to Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. Check out my articles there. You can also uh, follow or subscribe. Definitely head over to Twitch. It's a great way to support the channel. I appreciate all of you. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.